Hey guys, so something pretty crazy happened to me in the last week or so. And if you're following me on my stories or my Instagram, you probably already know because I shared everything that was happening live on the day. So basically, I won an award. Yeah, I won an award, which is crazy because I don't usually win awards. Weirdly enough, I get shortlisted for a lot of things, but I don't actually win anything really so this was like the first thing i actually won and the award was for the individual of the year by the thornton education trust now i'm going to explain everything i'm going to tell you who the thornton education trust are i'm going to tell you what happened on the night and i'm going to share the actual footage of uh, the moment that i was announced as the winner i'm also going to share with you all the incredible other winners who was so inspiring. And I'll also share the actual speech that I had to give impromptu Did not expect that. on the night. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video to catch that. So first of all, who are the Thornton Education Trust? Basically, they're a charity committed to advancing architecture education and opening up access to the field for young people and students. But they also put initiatives in place, for example, this awards ceremony, and they work with associates and various partners around the industry to facilitate more education and more open access to the next generation of architects. And so after I got the email about being shortlisted, they invited me to an award ceremony that was held at the Architectural Association. And the evening was pretty awesome. They served canopies, they served drinks. It was just kind of like a networking event at the beginning. And then the award ceremony began. And these were some of the other winners on the night who were just incredible organizers organizations and people. So the first winner and the first category of the night was the winner for the informal learning activity and that was the Irish Architecture Foundation and they basically created a youth manifesto to address architecture in a climate crisis. The next winner was in the category of the best youth program and that was Beyond the Box and they basically created this thing called the People's Pavilion which was a design competition aimed to kind of flip the script on who designs and curates spaces in London. The next winner was in the group of Diversity in Action, and that was won by We Made That, who had a project called Reset Go, which was an initiative dedicated to tackling the lack of diversity in architecture. The next winner was the winner in Research, and that was won by the Collective Design Pedagogy, which was researched by Nicola Antaki at the University of Sheffield, who explored how architecture as an activity and as a setting can be considered as an educator itself, which I thought was pretty cool. The other winner was for the best organization online, and that was by Grosvenor, ZCD Architects, the TCPA, and Sports England, whose project called Voice Opportunity Power, which was a free toolkit designed to normalize youth participation in the development and management of places. The other winner was for the best organization that was emerging, and that was won by Matt and Fiona which was an initiative to ask young people how their built environment might be improved and then actually empower them to bring that vision to life. The next winner was for the best established organization and that was won by Arki. And I spoke to the founder, Pila Meskanen. We spoke about how she's essentially created a digital school of architecture that can be franchised all around the world to teach young people and youth about the field. <laughs> just incredible and so that brings us to the final winner which was me <laughs> um, and that was in the category of individual of the year this is what they said about the category and about why I was selected and yeah I'm not gonna read it out to you because it just feels weird if I started reading this out so go ahead and pause the video if you want to read it I receive messages from you guys very regularly and I just want to say that it's because of those messages that you guys send me, telling me how this has helped you and sharing your journey with me, which really motivates me. And you're gonna see that in the speech I made. And this is the actual moment that I, I got, I was announced as the winner. So yeah, check it out. Ways who's, uh, who can actually reach out, especially to, I'm gonna say to um, young future architects and, and, and push what we're talking about out to more and more and more people. So, uh, the winner of the individual of the year is Hamza Sheikh. I did not expect that. Um, I guess, um, I don't know what to say. I guess, I mean, I was just 
speaking to my friends just there thinking, like, I feel a little bit of imposter syndrome being here and also individually it feels a bit strange given that the whole room is full of incredible individuals. Um, but I think the thing that I think inspires all of us is just knowing that even if this affects one person, then it's worth doing and you know, you might get one message or you might get one piece of recognition from one student and that's what keeps you going because I feel like we're all on kind of auto drive at the moment. We just do, we just get stuff out there. And then it takes moments like this where you question why am I doing it? But then you remember if it helps one person, it's worth doing so. Thanks everyone. This, this award is pretty cool and you know it says individual of the year but it doesn't feel like an individual effort i know it's no oscars but i still want to thank certain people obviously thank you guys but i want to say thank you to first of all my parents who motivated me empowered me from a very young age you know sometimes in ways they probably didn't know they were empowering me they pushed me to be creative to be a visionary and that's what I hope to become. And I also want to thank my wife, who is incredibly patient, incredibly supportive. Without her, none of this would be possible. And I also want to thank my very good friend and co-producer for some of the videos on the channel for YouTube and all around kind of good advisor, Adam Dudley Malik. I also want to say thanks to my brothers. They have always believed in me as well. I just have such a supporting family and I'm so thankful for that. And a special shout out goes to the teachers who doubted me, who said that art was a stupid field to pursue. And then finally, a massive shout out to my art teachers in Dubai English Speaking College. Even though I was in detention, sitting in their studios nearly every week, they always believed in me and they always thought that I would go far. Cheesy as hell, but whatever guys. You know, I'll take any opportunity to be grateful for people around me and for what's happening. So yeah, we can park that now and let's get back to business. See you on the next video.